climate change. It's happening all around us, in cities and communities where we live, work, and play. It's not just a tomorrow problem. It's a today problem. The devastating impacts of human-caused climate change are happening now. Overnight flash floods sweeping across the Northeast. Electricity experts are warning states may not have enough power to meet the surging demand. Extreme weather is now routine. Daily news headlines illustrate this. Stronger storms, frequent flooding, longer droughts, hotter heat waves, and deadlier wildfires. Global greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise, and even optimistic reduction scenarios will leave us with warmer temperatures and rising seas. Cities and communities will need to adapt to these and other climate impacts. The future will look different than our past. We must prepare for it. To everyone who cares about cities, consider this your call to action. Your call to join us. We want community development practitioners to ask the climate question. We say it's an everything issue, it's also an everybody issue. And we need everybody, especially those who are already working on the shape, form, and function of a city, to think about how they can be in better partnership with the impacted communities, the public sector. We need everyone to be thinking about this. And it is not a luxury for anyone to say, it's not my job. We also want them to be asking the equity question understanding how communities are impacted in the place and really bringing those communities to the table with them to develop solutions together. Communities of color, low-income communities, tend to be in the shadows of fossil fuel generation. They're often breathing in more toxins than wealthier communities, than majority white communities. These are also the same communities that um, tend to pay a disproportionately high amount of their overall monthly income to meet energy needs. And so not only are they paying costs with their bodies, but they're also paying costs in terms of overall household income. When there is a major climate event, um, they're less able to bounce back. So these are communities that are vulnerable to climate, but they're also vulnerable in terms of the impacts of the energy system on their health. Climate change is a global problem caused by our actions. And that big problem causes lots of local problems in every community. Big cities are crucial to meeting mitigation targets, and all cities need to be part of local and regional plans to adapt. These actions will require cooperation across jurisdictions and at larger scales than we currently work. How severely cities are affected by climate change depends on their exposure to risks, the vulnerability of their residents, and how proactively they anticipate and prepare for these climate impacts. As climate change worsens, people will leave the most impacted communities and move to less affected places. Cities must consider how migration into, out of, or around might affect them. We know that cities that prepare for a climate impacted future will be better off than those that don't. We need all of our community development practitioners to be thinking about this, not in a silo, but in communities and with municipalities together. And we'll be much better off to, to be able to live in a, in a climate-informed, community-driven way that keeps us safe, that keeps our local economies able to thrive. You know, if you look around the country, if you look around the world, you can see how, again, inequality and inequity are exacerbated by climate disasters, by the climate emergency that we're facing. It, in fact, is a threat multiplier. For so long, um, we've had people working in silos, experts who understand their issue so well, but those experts have to sort of break down the walls to begin to talk to other experts. And then we can begin to see in a holistic way, um, the, the true issues that community members face, households face, entire communities face when thinking about climate change. Cities must continue to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as they simultaneously prepare for the impacts of climate change. Based on the current path, we cannot just adapt or just mitigate our way out. We need to do both. Adaptation is really looking at how climate is impacting us right now and having strategies, policies, and solutions to adapt to the impacts now and that we will experience in the future. And mitigation is reducing and transitioning off of our reliance on fossil fuels and other pollution that contributes to climate change. One way to ensure that we are designing mitigation strategies with equity at the center 
is to include communities at the table. Communities are the experts of where they live. They've been living with these existing issues for generations. They have to be a co-designer of the solutions that are gonna work, and that, I think, is one key strategy to building equity. We can ask ourselves a few questions. What systems and structures are we trying to change? Who will benefit and who will be in most impacted? And who gets to decide? The progress is the vision. The progress is the hope that we have. But more than anything, the people now realize that there is a just world that is available and that is possible. This picture of what could be is still possible, but it will take all of us. We can create a future where we have proactively transitioned to affordable renewable energy, prepared for climate impacts, and done so in a manner that creates an equitable and sustainable future for everyone. We can help cities and residents co-create the best possible future, one in which we all have the opportunity to thrive. Will you be part of this solution?